Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today in this uh, part 2 of 3D uh, flip over animation effect before I uh, you know start inserting the CSS and explain what it actually does I'm gonna talk about the different uh, CSS3 properties that I'm gonna use the transition, the transform, the backface visibility etc and explain exactly what they mean see the CSS3 transitions are presentational uh, effects which allow property changes in CSS values such as those with that can be defined to occur on mainly on a hover people as in our example you know we hovered over the um, the div and it actually flipped over or a, or a focus so whatever is not on blur is actually on focus usually an element goes on focus when you click on it but in our example we're gonna talk only about the we, we have used only the hover effect you know when you take the mouse over to occur smoothly over a specified duration in our uh, example in our case it was 0.5 seconds or half a second uh, rather than happening instantaneously which is uh, the normal behavior so when you want the transition or the change over the makeover to happen over a specified period of time you use these on CSS3 transitions uh, in our example you use the transition CSS3 property now transitions can be applied to a wide variety of CSS uh, properties in our example uh, we had actually applied it to uh, the rotate Y right but you can also apply it to um, background color with high opacity and ma many more um, you I've, I've applied it with the uh, width and the height a lot even with opacity a lot and also background color you know these are the main properties on which you actually apply the transition effects okay let's look at the the next slide or the next picture now IE 10 Firefox from uh, Opera all support the transition property anything lower than IE 9 is not supported people Safari and Chrome require the prefix uh, dash webkit dash right let's look at the next picture I like to use the shortened notation of the transition property people and this is the manner in which you use it so you use the transition property then the duration then the timing function timing function basically is whether you don't want the ease to be in or out or linear right and any delay if you would want it up front so this is the shortened notation for the transition properties and I'm gonna show you that too in a moment now what and uh, let's in the end talk about the transform property the transform property applies a 2d or a 3d transformation to an element uh, in our example we use the rotate wire property people it's used to rotate to 2 I'm sorry about that uh, scale moves or skew an element in our example we've just used the rotate specifically rotate Y or the vertical flip not the rotate X which can also which we could have done too right and in the end let's talk about the uh, last property that of uh, CSS3 property that I've actually used the back face visibility basically allows uh, uh, allows or hides the the flip side of uh, a div when the element is actually rotated has uh, different values hidden or visible very simple all right so let's uh, get back to our HTML CSS document notice that people have actually removed whatever goes inside the different rules the flip over rule or the flip over space question rule or the flip over space I'm gonna fill it all up and I'm gonna talk about what I, why I'm doing whatever I'm doing right okay let me remind you once again about the HTML of the, the document we have a div with a class of flip over we have three such divs people now this uh, div with a class of flip over uh, has two more divs inside nested divs with a class of answer and with a class of question which in turn have some content inside some text inside and a picture so basically this is one set people div with a class of flip over which is basically the wrapper div has another div of class answer and another div of class question so basically three divs here three more divs out here three more divs out here one set uh, is for one question and one answer so one wrapper which has a question and answer div inside right so in all we have nine divs so three divs with a class of flip over which have two more divs inside with a class of question and the class of answer three such sets people very very simple all right we had already talked about the HTML of the first session and now I'm gonna bring in the CSS I've used the internal 
uh, opening closing style tags so basically internal or embedded rules is what I'm gonna uh, create okay now all the three divs whether they are uh, is the wrapper div the flip over or the answer to the question div all share the same size people 220 uh, by 320 with with by height so let me get in you know the different declarations let me start filling in my rules and let me talk about them now the main wrapper div or the flip over div should have dimensions of uh, width 220 px high 320 px margin 50 float left now obviously the width and height are gonna change if your content is more I'm just I'm, you know this is the width and the size to suit my content size now this size with 220 high 320 is gonna be the same for all the devs whether they have a class of flip over question or answer you know because question and answer are nested divs inside the flip over div so it makes sense to keep them all the same size why have I actually used margin 50 is simply to space out the boxes from each other margin creates space outside people just remember that and uh, why float left so that I can make the different boxes of the divs rub shoulders stand left to right right otherwise divs would be top and bottom not left and right so float left okay let's bring in uh, some more CSS for you and let's talk about it then alrighty now this is gonna target question uh, div you know div with a class of question which is inside div with a class of flip over basically class flip over is gonna act as the wrapper div okay why position absolute uh, the question div uh, the, the div with a class of question is inside the div with a class of flip over okay it's a nested div question div the moment you set uh, the nested div to be absolute is gonna tuck itself to the top left corner of the div which is the wrapper div that is why position absolute you know, I would want it to tuck itself at the top left corner simple uh, padding 10 basically creating a cushion inside space inside so I don't want the text or the images to flush the walls of the div simple with 220 height 320 gonna match the wrapper div flip over div so no surprises there why text align center is gonna not only text align the um, text but so it's all also gonna text align the images inside that's why background color why this color that's a person preference people choose any other color should match the text color of course and border radius 8px what does border radius do I'm sure most of you already know creates rounded corners choose you know play around with this value to make it more or less okay now let's move ahead let's bring in some more CSS and let's talk about it now main property people the transform property which allows you to scale skew rotate move the object right okay so why webkit for, for chrome and safari and for other browsers simple transform does not work in IE 9 people or earlier versions of IE 9 works only in IE 10 where you actually don't require the MS prefix so webkit for you know, chrome and safari webkit browsers strangely enough the webkit uh, in my case also works in uh, opera very strange right usually you require the uh, dash or dash vendor prefix but simply by putting the dash webkit dash for me it actually works in opera too all right uh, perspective of 600 basically the uh, the place where uh, you are actually viewing where the eyes are actually set play around with the value a higher value is fine a lower value may not be so just experiment with the value the viewing perspective that is what it actually is rotate y so a uh, vertical flip people along the y axis it could be rotate x2 try that out see what it actually means or it can simply be rotate we don't want that we just want the vertical uh, rotation along the y axis zero degrees basically means no change you know just keep it as is so the question is gonna be as is no rotation up front so we have a plain vanilla, uh, vanilla transform property and one with the webkit vendor prefix alrighty let's bring in some more CSS and talk about it All 
right now webkit dash webkit back face visibility you know the vendor prefix as I have talked about earlier is required for the webkit browser scroll and safari otherwise use the plain vanilla transfer you know back face visibility property can be hidden or visible obviously I don't want the flip side of the back side to be shown when the rotation actually happens very simple explanation people otherwise it will look all odd you know very odd so just set it to a hidden right oh and in the end I'm gonna use the transition property and uh, specifically the shorthand notation use shorthand a lot people it's gonna simplify your code keep it short simple compact okay as you become more and more experienced you should be using more and more short notations of the different properties transition basically what does the word transition means make over change over you know from one state to the other right so again I've used the vendor prefix webkit out here notice that I've not used it out here this is the way you're gonna use it people not in the beginning but somewhere in the middle like this webkit transform over five seconds and the ease easing function is ease out slow slow towards the end and uh, a little quicker in the beginning so we have other variations like linear you have mm, ease in ease in out so I'm gonna use ease out that suits so personal preference again it's just slow the animation slows down towards the end the opposite is ease in you also have ease in out and linear linear means not changing the same throughout right in a linear fashion so this is without the vendor prefix the transition without the vendor prefix right oh so this transition property is the main property uh, for the responsible for the animation now let's fill in the CSS for this one but even before that let's take up a preview in Firefox let's see how things stand at the moment okay so not much so far the questions uh, have a, a background color you can see it has uh, some rounded corners the answers are plain vanilla at the moment right and uh, they are all separated by a margin of 50 px and they're all floated left the different divs so not much so far let's move ahead and uh, let me bring in some more declarations for you okay so now I'm gonna target the uh, answer div which is inside the flip over div basically descendant selector answers inside flip over right now I'm, I'm doing the same thing out here I'm setting the position property to be absolute that's gonna tuck the answer div and align it to the top left corner uh, of the wrapper div which is the flip over div padding creating a cushion no surprise there I'm gonna keep the width and the height same as the uh, question div or the flip over div they all share the same size 220 height 320 basically this is to suit the amount of content that you have again if you have different uh, content different amount of content you're gonna change the size text align center centers the text and the images too. background color whatever whatever and again the you know the border radius uh, 8px at this point let's save the document let's see the changes that have actually taken place let's refresh now you see what has happened since both the answer and the question divs are a uh, position absolute both of them tuck themselves to the top left corner of the flip over uh, div and the question div overlaps the answer div at this point no flipping over but overlapping actually happens at this point and what is actually responsible for the uh, overlapping is the position property set to absolute inside a div which is actually static so that's the trick people just remember that okay let's forge ahead let's move ahead and understand uh, some more code alrighty Mm, now the transform okay now see uh, through the transform property and using the vendor prefix for Chrome and Safari using plain vanilla vanilla for other browsers again it's uh, you know the flip over is not gonna happen in i9 or earlier versions perspective as I said it's the viewing perspective play around with the value take it higher and lower and see what suits your taste buds uh, rotation along the uh, y axis for the 
answer div at 180 this is a complete flip over now this is where you actually are flipping the or turning it uh, turning the backside towards your face right this is what's gonna happen but if I save it and show you the, the browser preview let's see what happens you can't see the change simply because although the answer div is flipped over uh, it's hidden behind the question div so you can't see it okay let's forge ahead and bring in some more uh, properties or declarations right again I'm, I'm since the uh, answer div is now flipped over I don't want the uh, visibility or the flip side to be shown so back face visibility CSS3 property hidden transition shorten property people webkit for the uh, webkit browser storm and safari transformation to take place over uh, you know I would want the trans transform property to change and what does it actually change the rotation basically over 0.5 seconds and the easing to be out right so this is the short notation of the transition property people so we have the plain vanilla out here and the for the webkit support we have the dash webkit dash uh, window prefix out here right -o. let's at this point uh, save the document and take up a browser preview in uh, Firefox doesn't actually require the window prefixes no flip over yet okay right on now let's bring in some more uh, declarations some more properties so two more declarations one is vanilla one is the webkit now the transform property people when somebody ho hovers over the flip over div which is the wrapper or the outermost div remember flip over has answer and question divs uh, the divs with the class of question and answer what sh how should the uh, question uh, div actually behave in this manner the perspective should be kept the same but uh, if you remember the zero degrees should change over to minus 180 the rotation animation is happening out here people at this point at this point initially if you remember it was set to zero degrees the question div and now it's set to minus 180 a complete flip over people that's what is happening out here right the back face has been set back face visibility is hidden people now at this point let's save the document up and bring up the browser let's see let's look for any changes yep righto now in the end people some more code and we are actually done now we are targeting the answer div when somebody uh, you know hovers over the wrapper div or the flip over div and so basically what I would want is that from 180 degrees should uh, flip over to a zero degrees again this is the flip over people through the transform property you need the vendor prefix for you know uh, chrome and safari plain vanilla transform property for other browsers so you see the transform property out here and out here is uh, you know changing it from zero to minus 180 and 180 to zero so basically the clockwise uh, flip over is happening out here very very simple people and let's save the document up we are actually done that's all wasn't too difficult was it let's refresh and let's check yep and we are actually done won't work in the uh, earlier versions of uh, uh, IE 9, 8, 7, 6 no it will work in IE 10 without any vendor prefix people it will work in Opera it will work in Firefox and with the help of web WebKit uh, when the prefixes will also work in Chrome and Safari so that's uh, where I'm gonna want you know terminate the tutorial so I hope you enjoyed uh, both the parts found it uh, very informative right I hope you'll thumb the video up I'll hope uh, you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me please subscribe if you found this stuff to be useful uh, keep me interested keep me uh, you know keep my enthusiasm up you have a good day bye bye peace